Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Erie and today it's the chopping block for the feminist book club book box. Now, this book box is $51 a month and you get a feminist book that comes with like a monthly theme. You get four items. They're not necessarily bookish items. They're just generic items from women-owned businesses. And then you get like access to the book club community as a whole, which is like a Facebook group, a Slack, not a Slack channel, but just a, a Slack. <laughs> um, a couple of different Zoom calls every month. The two months before this that I have subscribed to it, the author has come on for a, a Zoom call with everybody in the book club if you wanted to join. Um, and 5% of all proceeds from this box are donated to a charity. Now, why is this on a chopping block? Well, if you're new here, the items that come in this box have been, well, frankly, they've been insulting for a $51 value, which we're going to take $20 out of that $51 value, just a nice round number, say that's for the book. So $30 for, for the items in the box, right? Last month, I need to go, I only remember two things in the box last month, so I need to go get it. Last month, for a $30 supposed value, I got a small little canvas that somebody had pressed their breast to. <laughs> so unsolicited nudes. I got a magnet. I think I still have the magnet right here. I got a magnet. I got a temporary tattoo about the size of my thumb that I could have easily gotten from, oh, a quarter machine at a mall in the 90s. And I got gourmet chocolate covered pretzels, which were about that big. Um, that was not a $30 value. I don't even know that that was like a $5 value. Um, and the month prior to that was basically the same thing where the swag in the box was insultingly cheap compared to the price that I'm paying for this. So basically the question is, are they going to continue to be very insulting with their swag items? Am I going to cancel this? find out at the end of the video. As always, you guys get first peek. If I could pry this shit open. Wow. Ugh. There we go. And it's a purple box. Yay. That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? There you go. Now let's start with the book. Uh, this month's theme is the Caribbean and I do have to say that the book box owner did something very interesting for this book box. She asked us in February, or asked the community in February, like, the theme this month is Caribbean, please nominate Caribbean books that you would want to read. And I know what this book is because the book that I nominated was the book that got selected. And it is Here Comes the Sun by Nicole Dennis Ben. Um, why did I nominate this? Because the Beatles song gets stuck in my head every time I read this title. That's, that's it. I have no idea what this is about other than it's a Caribbean novel. Uh, other than it's a Caribbean novel and a Beatles song. <laughs> but thank you for falling over. I will be reading this by the end of this video, so if you want to know more about this book, stick around till the end and and you'll find out all sorts of things about this book. Next up, I have a candle. I like candles. It's a very tiny candle. Um, this is Island Vibes by Natural Annie Essentials. Um, I don't... 
it smells like a pina colada like just straight up like alcohol alcohol and suntan lotion i love it i have to admit that the candle is one of the better things that i've gotten in this subscription box um she always includes like a personalized very very short like one sentence little note and it's just airy enjoy a slice of the caribbean sun next i have whatever is in here which is a bottle of hot sauce okay <laughs> i wasn't expecting that uh uh this is pizkaya i think is how you say it uh caribbean hot sauce born in brooklyn um, this is scotch bonnet peppers and a smoky sweetness and heat. And yeah, it's, it's hot sauce. I'm, I'm honestly not mad right now. I like candles that smell like suntan lotion and I like hot sauce. So I'm not mad. The final thing in here is a headband. Um, this is from... Afro accessories something I don't know what this is Afro essories I think is the brand name it, it's just a it's a headband It's a linen headband. It's a nice headband. I don't mind it. But that's it. Just those three things. <laughs> Are these three things worth $30? No. <laughs> no. This candle, this size, two to four dollars. I'm sure a bottle of hot sauce is two to four dollars. And maybe this is like a $10 headband, but that's still not anywhere close to $30. And we only got three things this month instead of four. Um, this could have, this is an interesting month because um, there was three separate businesses that we could have gotten a candle from. I got mine from Natural Annie Essentials, but I could have gotten one from Marie's Hollow or Desi Essentials. And then um, the headband could have been from two different companies as well. Um, I did get mine from Afro Essaries. Um, but I could have gotten one from Candy Pink Designs. And the charity this month is Eve for Life, um, which supports women and children living or affected by HIV and AIDS. So it's a good charity. I'm not... I'm not mad at that. So this book box is definitely getting canceled. What I do have to say is that if you are interested in like a book club where you read feminist literature every single month with like a like-minded group of women, then I think paying like the, I, I want to say like $10 or so a month um, to like gain access to like the chats and everything like that may be worth it for you. I don't ever use any of those programs um, just because I don't, I, I don't, I have you guys to discuss books with. I don't need another group of people to discuss books with. Um, so, but if, if being like on a Zoom call talking about books, like chatting with feminists, things like that, if, if that sounds interesting to you, then I would do like the base subscription of this. I would never suggest anybody get like the box because the swag items just aren't worth it. I mean this month is by far the coolest and I still don't think that this is worth it. Um, the books are hit or miss but I mean every book's going to be like that and then the two lower subscriptions you can get one where you get access to all of the stuff and they send you a book or one where they just tell you what the book is and you can buy it on your own. I would recommend you buy the book on your own because I bet you're going to save money that way. Because the price of books are always going to fluctuate, but the price of the monthly subscription never fluctuates. So 
I will be back in just a few seconds to tell you what this book is about and what I thought of it. Hello, I have finished Here Comes the Sun by Nicole Dennis Ben. Uh, this one, this one's kind of rough to rate because like the story was powerful, the writing was very good, um, you could easily tell the difference between like arterial voice and like the characters because a lot of the times when an author writes something from a character's perspective that sounds like racist or homophobic or something like that it sounds like the author is racist or homophobic this book like you can clearly see that the author knows that the racism and homophobia and everything is bad um and is using it as an example of like the horror of these women's lives so what is this about um let let me see if i could do this without giving any spoilers but this takes place in jamaica in the early 90s and it's from the perspective of um very very poor black women because jamaica is like a tourist attraction right it's not it, and it's kind of the conversation of like white people will go to jamaica being like oh my god this place is so beautiful and not really see like the underlying problems they cause with their privilege through their tourism um which i could expand on but i'm afraid it's a spoiler if i expand on that um these women have nothing they have no money they don't really have any agency or anything like that and it, it's kind of a discussion on how do you wrestle a very very small amount of control over your your body when you really have no control over you, yourself and your body um it also discusses that like money doesn't buy happiness but maybe it helps <laughs> in an interesting way there's a lot of examples of how like much hatred or how much homophobia there is and like uh these very very christian countries which i've read other books based in other countries that have like the same idea uh but it it's just like the idea of being queer is worse like in people's minds than being a rapist or a murderer like it's better if you rape somebody than to be gay and a lot of the solutions to women like the solution to a man being gay is the men will be killed the solution to women being gay is they will be repeatedly raped by men to be like you're not queer like this is what you want this is what you're naturally supposed to desire some icky bullshit like that um so i hope those themes kind of like imply that this is a very dark depressing kind of story and the book sets up for like the kind of story that I like where it's really sad um like no sign of a happy ending anywhere even like with the possibility of a happy ending it's just like dark all the way through um but I, I don't know I found like absolutely no enjoyment of this book just because the lives these people are leading are so so awful yet believable i think that's my thing is that i like dark depressing books but they need to be dark and depressing about situations that are 
obviously fiction. If you were to tell me that this was like a true story, I would entirely believe you. And I think that's why I can't like appreciate something like this as much as I typically do with like dark and depressing things is because it doesn't seem fictional. <laughs> it seems like people probably really have lives very similar to this and that makes me sad because I don't want people to have to deal with shit like this. As far as recommending this to other people, I would say that as long as you know what you're getting into with this book, I would say go ahead and go for it. It's a very powerful story. Um, but I would not just blindly recommend this book to anybody because it it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to read shit like this. I don't think I recorded an outro for this, so that's it for this box. I am canceling it, not because I had really any problems with the books. Two of the books I thought were very, very good choices. One of them I didn't like, but for personal reasons, because I hate self-help. Um, it's just the swag entirely in this box that I don't think it is worth it. So again, as I said earlier, if you're interested in the books from this box and conversing with other feminists about these women-centric books every month, then I would sign up for the very, very base program for Feminist Book Club. And I highly encourage that, highly recommend that program. Any tiers above that, I don't think it's worth the money. The only tier, the tier above that where you get the book, if you have a hard time getting books yourself, then I would say go with that tier because they'll just send it to you. But if you can easily obtain books, then the lowest tier would be the best. But I am canceling it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you don't already subscribe, I encourage you to subscribe because I do a lot of different book boxes. So I canceled this one, but I will replace it with something else. And if you have other suggestions for book boxes that you would like to see me subscribe to, please leave them in the comments, especially uh, since I've gotten rid of this one. If there's like another feminist book box that you're wondering if it's worth the money, um, let me know. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.